Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talk Training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation of injection resin anchors. As you can see, Fisher offers a vast range of resins. Selection would depend on your application and design requirements. In this session, we will be focusing on the most common injection resins, which are vinyl ester FIS VL and high performance hybrid vinyl ester FIS V360S. Both have ETA option 1 for cracked concrete, ETA approval for masonry, and also ETA for post install rebars. Both have 2 hours fire resistant classification. FISVL 410 can be used in flooded holes, which is a really good advantage in bad weather. FISV is a hybrid resin with excellent bond strength, so better option if higher tensile loads are required. When a resin has an ETA, it doesn't mean all stud diameters are approved. For example, on application in crack concrete, with FISVL, only studs M10 up to M20 can be used. With FISV, range is extended from M8 up to M30, so it's more comprehensive. FISV has also seismic C1, C2 and also ICC approval. Both resins can be installed up to minus 5 degrees, which is really very good benefit in cold months. Remember, some resins are not allowed to be used below freezing and some commodity polyester resins require concrete to be above 5 degrees. With resin anchors, correct hole cleaning is essential. Otherwise, resin would bond to the drilling debris and in unclean holes, load capacity of some resin anchors could be reduced by up to 75%. Therefore, it's vital you have correct installation accessories. For FISV resin installation with M10 resin studs in concrete, you will need obviously correct dispenser. Then M10 resin studs, you can use either RGM resin studs or you can use also straight cut FIS AM. Then of course, correct drill bit, M12 in this case. Make sure it's PGA marked. Then for hole cleaning, we will need blowout pump. Cleaning brush, make sure it's metal BS12 brush, not a nylon brush. And for larger hole diameters of um, 18 millimeter plus or deeper holes, 12 times that diameter, you will need also compressed air cleaning with six bar oil-free compressor. Alternatively, if you want to avoid hole cleaning, you can use hollow drill bits with fisher rack. Then at the end, you will need calibrated uh, torque wrench with correct socket 17 mil for M10 resin stud. We also offer some additional installation accessories. For example, if you need to reuse a uh, resin cartridge, no problem. You just replace the nozzle and spare nozzles are available, 10 per pack. Also, if you are Drilling deeper than 150 millimeter, you should be using FIS extension tube. You can cut it to the length required. Also, if the hole is deeper than 250 millimeter or for overhead installation, you should be using FIS uh, adapter, which goes uh, to the on the end of the tube. And for overhead installation, we do offer also centering wedges, which will help you to support the stud overhead. All the information is in installation leaflet. These are supplied with uh, resin cartridges and it's very useful because you will find all this information listed very clearly so you can find out what is the correct um, hole diameter, correct um, BS brush, also information on setting time, curing time and also maximum installation torque values. So always refer to this and also that will explain correct installation procedures. Installation instructions can be found also on a cartridge. So you have very clearly stated here how to install the fixing correctly and more importantly, how to clean a hole. Prior to any installation, make sure you have correct anchor as specified for their job. Check what embedment depth has been specified for application so the anchor can be installed correctly 
and load-bearing capacity is not compromised. Remember, embedment depth can be between 4 to 20 times the diameter, so it's always worth checking what is required for your job. If designers use CFIX design software, in the report you will find information about the specified embedment depths, but also you will find very useful summary of all required installation accessories, including the product article numbers, so that is easy for procurement purposes. In the report, you will also find guidance how much resin you need for each hole, which is very useful for the end user because that will reduce your wastage. So before any installation, make sure you have correct PPE. Before you start, check whether you have resin in date. That information can be found very easily on a cartridge. And FISV offer competitive shelf life of 18 months. Check also ambient and base material temperature, which are also specified on a cartridge. FISV can be used up to minus five degrees, which is another good advantage because some, for example, commodity polyester resins shouldn't be used below five degrees. Also, before you start drilling, make sure you know what is the specified embedment depth so you know how deep you have to drill, because that can vary, that can be between four to 20 times uh, stud diameter. We will be installing M10 resin studs, so we need to drill 12 mm diameter hole to specified embedment, in this case, 90 mm. So we drilled 12 by 90 hole. Now what is very important, we have to clean a hole. That is specified here. In this case, this FISV, we need to blow it out four times, brush it four times and blow it out four times. So we clean a hole and we are ready to inject the resin. You have to use the correct dispenser. So double check what cartridge you are using. This is side-by-side -side cartridge. So we'll be using FIS DMS gun. You have to discharge a little bit of resin just to double check the mixing, but we have nice uniform color so we can inject the resin. You will be injecting the resin from the bottom of the hole. Try to avoid trapping any air. If you are not sure how many trigger pulls, it's better to overfill the hole instead of underfilling it. Mark the specified embedment depths and when you are putting the stud in, do it slowly and rotate it, making sure the resin will fully cover the thread and make sure you reach the required embedment depth. Now when you finish, leave the resin to set, observe the curing time which is specified on a cartridge, and only after the resin is fully set, you can apply installation torque. It's better to overfill the hole instead of underfilling, so you can remove the excess resin now, or leave it as it is, and it's very easy to remove it afterwards when the resin is cured. So resin is fully set, so we can finish installation. For that, we have to apply specify maximum installation torque. So please make sure you are using calibrated torque wrench. For M10 resin anchor, uh, it's uh, 20 Newton meters. So make sure you don't apply more than that. Done. Is applying correct specified installation torque. We know the resin hasn't been overstressed, but we have sufficient clamping force. So quick summary, make sure you have correct anchor as specified, have correct tools and all installation accessories. 
Check resin is in date. Check temperature of the base material and resin cartridge is within the recommended range. Use PJ mark drill bit and make sure it's not worn. Check wear marks. Drill to the correct diameter and specify depth. Clean a hole following instructions supplied with the resin. Discard two trigger pulls to ensure correct mixing ratio and inject a sufficient amount of resin into the hole. Insert the resin, making sure full embedment depth is achieved. Allow sufficient curing time. And remember, you have to double the curing time in wet holes and apply specified installation torque. For any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 Visit our website at www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.